What's up? This is Stephen Bloodworth, and this is my review of Portraits of Andrea Palmer, directed by C. Huston and released by Tomorrow Productions. Now, this is a first for me, being that I've never reviewed a film like this, nor have I seen a film like this. The film is X-rated and is intended for mature audiences only, 18 and up. The director of the film, C. Huston, was actually kind enough to supply me with a screener of the film for this review. And then I also went ahead and got the Blu-ray of the film because Sam Hell from A Baroque House actually recommended it. Now, like I said, I have never reviewed a film like this before, nor have I seen a film like this before, so bear with me. The film is broken up into several different chapters, all of which are focused on our star, Andrea, or Andy as she's known throughout the film. Andy, played by Katrina Zova, is an amateur cam girl. Immediately when the film begins, you could tell that Andy is not exactly too thrilled with her life. When she's doing her live shows, she looks like a typical cam girl, but when she's not in front of her laptop performing, you could see that she is a very, very sad girl. One day during a live show, she is taunted by a group of people in the chat, and this makes her irate and she goes on a tangent. During her outbreak, she receives a kind and encouraging message from an anonymous user saying that he sees great potential out of her. We don't know this guy's name, nor do we hear his voice, but he calls Andy and offers her a job out in LA. Feeling that she has nothing to lose, Andy decides to take his offer and moves to LA where she hopes to start this job. But once she gets to LA, she never hears from this guy again and she goes on a downward spiral. Andy begins to start to look for other gigs. She actually finds a modeling agency which actually takes place in this creepy warehouse to find a dingy underground porno shoot where she is recruited to go and kind of shadow them until the director kind of forces her to get involved where she does perform but then the director is not willing to pay her for the work. After this you can see Andy get even more depressed and she takes it upon herself to do work on her own. She becomes an escort and just degrades herself with some of the horrible things that some of her clients want her to do. Throughout the rest of the film, we see Andy get humiliated. She continues to get gradually more depressed. She dabbles into more hardcore drugs. She gets robbed and she even gets abused. So that's the basic plot without me giving too much away. Now let's go into my overall thoughts on the film. As I said, the director C. Hudson provided me with the digital download of the film, but in most cases where people will send me a digital download, I usually don't go and rebuy it on DVD or Blu-ray. In the case for Portraits of Andrea Palmer, the film was so good, I could not pass up buying the Blu-ray, and that is very rare for me. The film is incredibly disturbing, both in sexual and graphic content, yet it is beautifully shot. The cinematography is great, and the scenes in black and white add a really nice touch to the film. All of the characters in this film are amazing and extremely believable. From the nice guys to the scumbags, every character in this film fits perfectly. Again, it's an X-rated film, so there are a lot of scenes involving masturbation, full frontal sex, you have your fetish scenes, your bondage scenes, and there's even a rape scene. The film is not meant to be a horror film, yet towards the end of the film, we do see some amazing gore. Before filming this review, I decided to check out some other people's thoughts on the film, and they say that this film holds a lot of tributes and pays 
a lot of homage to the Japanese film Woman's Flesh My Red Guts. I have yet to see Women's Flesh My Red Guts, but if you agree or disagree, please drop a comment down below. I'd really love to hear what you have to say. For a rating on Portraits of Andrea Palmer, I gotta give this film a go check it out now plus. Excellent, excellent film, but again, for mature audiences only, 18 and up. I cannot stress that enough. If you want to get yourself a copy, go to portraitsofandreapalmer.com. Link will be in the description as always. The Blu-ray is loaded with special features including an uncensored 2K scan from the original 16mm reversal film, uncompressed PCM stereo audio, English subtitles, audio commentary with directors C. Huston and J. Lyons, behind the scenes, photos and stills, and the original uncut trailer. So that's gonna do it for today guys, thank you so much for coming by and checking out this review. And again, thank you so much C. Huston for providing me with the screener to this film. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for all of my latest videos posted every Monday and Friday. And also make sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, to stay posted on what I'm doing behind the scenes of making these videos. And before you click off this video, don't forget to hit it with a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below saying if you've seen this film before and what are your thoughts on it. Until next time, take care and stay scared.